give yourself away are you willing to give yourself to Jesus are you willing to give up everything to serve the master hallelujah give myself away so that you can use me praise the Lord everybody hallelujah praise the Lord everybody hallelujah we bring you greetings in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Coming from here in Manalapan, New Jersey. Well, you know what? It's raining outside, but there's sunshine in my heart. Holly, there's praise in my spirit. And we come to serve you today under the leadership of our own pastor, Fred Rubin, Lady Teresa Rubin. Here at Community Refuge Church, we bring you greetings in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What a beautiful song this morning. Hallelujah. Lord, help me to decrease that thou may increase in my life. Hallelujah to God. We thank God for who he is today. For he's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. And because of that, we give we are grateful. Just as a reminder, glory to God. Our prayer lines are open throughout the whole service. Amen. So you can call 732-446-2230 and someone will answer their call and pray for you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. We thank God for all things. But you know what? I'm ready to I'm ready to move in Jesus. I'm ready to have a time. I feel like jumping and shouting this morning, you know, because God has been so good to me. Hallelujah. I know he's been good to you. So put your praise shoes on. Hallelujah. Sometimes people call me a character. I'm going to say, take, put your praise slippers on. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, <laughs> you put it on because you know, we, it's time to go higher in Jesus. It's time to go higher this morning. So at this time, we're going to receive our, our Deacon Fitzpatrick. He's going to lead us in prayer. And then we're going to go directly into praise and worship. And I'm asking you to pray for us today as we pray for you in the name of Jesus. Let's receive Deacon Fitzpatrick in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is. 
is within me. Bless his holy his holy name. Hallelujah. And oh, I will bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul. to be God and I give you all the glory I thank you Lord for this opportunity I thank you oh God for this chance to serve you to magnify you to lift your name to give you all the praise that is due I thank you for my health and for my strength I thank you for my right mind I thank you for the mind to serve and to worship you I thank you oh God for leading and guiding me into truth oh God into knowledge of your word I thank you oh God for my family and for my home I thank you for this place of worship I thank you Oh, God, because you've just been good. You're a healer. You are a provider. You are a way maker. You are a protector. God, and I praise you. Hallelujah. I give you all the glory, oh, Lord, this day. Bless these, your people. Bapacha. Bless us, oh, God. We need you. We stand in an evil blessing, oh, God. Hallelujah. Touch right now. Lord, someone's heart needs fixing. Someone's mind needs deliverance, oh, God. Right now, oh, God, have your way. Lord, show your strength in this situation and everything, oh, God. Hallelujah. Bless us, oh, God. Help us to walk by faith and not by sight. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but to acknowledge you in all of our ways, oh God. Hallelujah. Help us to know that this plague shall not come nigh our dwelling. Oh God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Help us to stand on your word. Hallelujah, no matter what we are seeing. Oh God, bless us, oh God, to stand on your word. Hallelujah, COVID shall not have the victory in the name of Jesus, because we are your children. We are covered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord, touch in the hospitals, touch in the prisons, touch, Lord, as only you can. In the name of Jesus, someone right now needs you. Hallelujah. Bless those who have experienced loss. In the name of Jesus, give them strength, oh God. Comfort them right now in the name of Jesus. Help them, oh God, to know, oh God, that you are by their side. You will never leave. You will never forsake. Hallelujah. Help us, oh God. We need you right now, oh Lord. Some, some sinner needs to be saved. 
Someone needs to know of your saving grace. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Pour out your spirit right now, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Fill them, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And we shall, we shall, we shall always praise you. We shall always give you the glory. We shall always give you the honor, oh God, because you are good. Hallelujah. You are good. Hallelujah. We thank you. And we praise you, oh God, in all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Savior. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your Savior. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Hallelujah. For he is good. Praise him. Hallelujah. For his excellent greatness. Praise him. Hallelujah. For his mighty acts. Praise him. Children of God, give him praise. Hallelujah. Because he's been good. Hallelujah. Because he has been good to us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The song says, I will worship with all of my heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will praise you. Hallelujah. With all of my strength. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Everybody sing. And I will worship with all of my heart. And I will seek you all of my days. I will lift up my eyes to your throne. And I will trust you, trust you, trust you alone. And oh, I will give all my worship. And I will give you all my praise. Because you alone, I long to worship. You alone are worthy of our praise. And I will give. You all my worship, hallelujah. And I will give you all my praise because you alone I long to worship, hallelujah. And you alone are worthy of, of my praise. Hallelujah. Oh yes, hallelujah. And oh, and I will worship with all of my heart and I will praise you with all of my strength oh and I will seek you hallelujah all of my days hallelujah and I Jesus, I will give you, 
all my worship, Jesus, hallelujah, and I will give you all my praise, hallelujah, because Jesus, you alone, I long to worship, hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord and rise among us. And let the glory of the Lord, hallelujah, rise among us. And let the praises of our King, yes, rise among us. Let it rise. Everybody sing, let the glory of, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King, Jesus, rise among us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord, let the glory, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Rise among us. Let the praises of our King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rise. Oh, let it rise. Hallelujah. And we sing, oh, we sing. Oh, let it rise, hallelujah. We sing, oh, everybody sing. Oh, let it rise, let it rise. Oh, let the shout of the Lord, let the shout, let the shout of the Lord rise among us. Let the shout of the Lord. Let it rise among us, hallelujah. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Oh, let it rise. Oh, let the praises of the Lord. Let the praise rise among us. Let the praises of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, and we sing, oh, we sing, oh, and no. Oh, let it rise, let it rise. We sing, oh, we sing, oh, and no. Oh, oh, let it rise, let it rise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us let the praises of our king rise among us let it rise hallelujah how many want the praises of god hallelujah to rise as a sweet smelling savor hallelujah we thank god hallelujah for all that god is doing this morning are you glad can i get somebody to shout hallelujah shout hallelujah this morning glory be to god we thank god hallelujah for the praises of our king, hallelujah, because he's wonderful, he's mighty, he is the king of kings and the lord of lords, he is the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the ending, he's Jehovah Jireh, he's Jehovah Tiskanu, he's Jehovah Nisi, hallelujah to God, he is that I am, glory to God. Hallelujah. He is the I am. And we thank and praise God for all things in the name of the Lord. At this time, we're going to have our scripture reading. So I'm going to ask you to grab your Bibles, grab your tablet, grab your phones. Hallelujah. Turn to Acts chapter 1. Amen. As we're going to receive our own sister Bullock, and she's going to lead us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Oh, praise him, praise him. Acts uh, chapter 1, verse 4 and 5, and then 7 through 9. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria 
and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. And praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's not for us to know the time or the season. It's God's time. Amen. Come to you this morning to bring this week's announcements. Uh, Bishop Rubin will continue on Facebook Live at noon each day, Monday through Friday at noon each day. Facebook Live on Bishop Rubin's Facebook page for the morning reflections. Morning reflections. Tuesday, Tuesday evening is our hour of fellowship at 7 p.m. Hour of fellowship at 7 p.m. This week's instructor is Brian Rubin. Brian Rubin this week, he will be instructing on prophecies, visions, and dreams. Prophecies, visions, and dreams. The public witness and Holy Ghost power. Amen. So 7 p.m. join us. Tuesday, 7 p.m. for the Hour of Fellowship. The uh, Wednesday morning at 6.30 is our morning prayer at 6.30 a.m. on the conference line, 6.30 Wednesday morning. Um, and this week we have youth Bible study, youth Bible study on Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. on Zoom, and that's with Elder Bullock and Sister Janelle Goldburn. And that is 7 p.m. So youth Bible study at 7 p.m. on Wednesday on Zoom as well. Um, next Sunday, next Sunday, educational hour will begin as usual at 10.30 a.m. Our instructor next week is Elder Barry Williams will be instructing us next week at 10.30 on Zoom. And we will continue our morning worship service at 11.30 on Zoom as well as on Facebook Live. Amen. Amen. We are a church that believes in the power of prayer. And we have lots to be grateful and thankful for. And we have lots of folks that we want to continue to lift up in prayer as well. Let's keep in mind for health, Brother Kevin Warner, Brother Thomas Bodie, Rita Cook, Lee Roy Wainwright. Sister Melissa Rennie, Mother Evelyn Harper, Brother Rodney Burke, the Fernandez family, Dorothy N. Wright in Richmond, Virginia, and Robin Mills, all others with health issues. For bereavement, we want to continue to keep in prayer the Clark family, uh, the recent passing of Minister or Elder Michael Clark. And uh, generally, we want to also lift up in prayer. There was recently in St. Vincent some volcanoes that erupted. We want to keep the families and, and those there that are suffering under those conditions, keep them in prayer and lift them up. Our first responders, church mothers, community refuge, family, and our country. Amen. Next up, our elder Barry Williams with words of encouragement. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Somebody shout hallelujah. I mean, glad to be here this morning and glad to be watching by Zoom and by Facebook, whatever you're watching by. We honor the Lord this morning for he is good and he is deserving of our praise. And we are just blessed to be in the house of the Lord. We are blessed to be in this kind of fellowship wherever you are that we can still come together and send up a praise unto the Lord. We thank God this morning. I thank God for the reading of the word on this morning. It kind of uh, uh, touched a nerve there and brought back some memories. Hallelujah. I'm reminded when the Bible talks about the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost. It is the promise of the Father. And, and my, uh, my, my thought go back to uh, down south. Um, I was raised up in church. Um, we were brought up in church. Um, and at that time, uh, 
uh, I believe they talked about an experience with Christ. They talked about having a conversion experience and they talked about, you know, God doing something that was extraordinary that made them give glory to God. And so at that time, they wasn't aware of the Holy Ghost. So it came about that somebody was preaching and it came about that there was this thing called the Holy Ghost. And so uh, actually it was one of my mom's friends that left, moved away. She got the Holy Ghost and came back and ministered to the people. And they asked, uh, my mom was, you know, she was a, y'all know mother Helen Williams. You know, she was a bull, she don't back down from nobody, right? So she, she asked the pastor, the, uh, the pastors and the deacons or whoever, could she come in this, the Baptist church? Because at that time, they didn't, you know, they didn't, they weren't talking about no Holy Ghost, okay? And um, they said, yes, you can come in. But they says, look, we gonna have our prayer meeting at seven. And when we finish, y'all can come in. <laughs> Y'all can, uh, can't come in while we doing our thing, but, you know, after we finish, y'all can come in. So they let them come into the church. My mom says as the lady was talking and, and they started to praying that the Holy Ghost fell. And, and, and she began to speak in tongues in this Baptist church and have this, this kind of experience. But after that, she began to relate as, my, as her mother watched her. Her mother watched her and she said to her that, you know, I know I got religion. That's the way the old folk, you know, she was, I know I got religion, but what you got, I don't have. She says, and I want it. Hallelujah. That was my grandmama. Hallelujah. And so things began to happen where my, one of my cousins got sick. And um, so they was ministering to her and they took her to the, now the Pentecostal church in about 10 miles away, that drive 10 miles, you know, and um, as because she wanted to be baptized. So my grandmom got dressed and went with them so that she could be baptized. And while she was baptized, the Holy Ghost fell on my grandmother at 79 years old. And she began to speak in tongues as the spirit of the Lord gave utterance and at that time they was also doing we were still doing what they called a prayer band and I wasn't there and when she got the Holy Ghost but I was in one of the prayer band meetings and the Holy Ghost got on grandma and I never saw a 79 year old lady jump so high y'all thought I jumped high <laughs> hallelujah that woman began to jump in the anointing of God I'd never seen anything like it but I'm telling you, there is power that comes after the Holy Ghost. So what my, my point today is that you may have had that experience that my grandmama had where she had religion, where she knew about Jesus and she had an encounter with him, but she had not yet received the promise of the Father. So the promise of the Father is for all of those who believe all of those who got religion, all of those who've been converted, have had the experience of encountering with God, the Holy Ghost is for you. It's for you. It is a promise unto you. Hallelujah. And it don't come any other way than speaking in tongues. We can talk about all the other gifts, but you can talk about the experience. You know, my grandma knew. She knew she had an encounter with God, but she didn't have the Holy Ghost. But when she got it, she also spoke in tongues as the spirit of the Lord gave utterance. People nowadays, they want to get the Holy Ghost. You know, they want to get the Holy Ghost without the tongues. You can't get it without. You can have an experience. You know, you can have, you know, an encounter, but you can't get the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Without the speaking in tongues, it comes with it. And I thank God, there is no experience like it. And I thank God and I encourage all of you that are listening to me, hallelujah. If you have not yet received the Holy Ghost, it is a promise to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
And you don't have to be in a Pentecostal church. You don't have to be in an apostolic church. You can be in your Baptist, in your Methodist, in your Presbyterian, wherever you are, and receive the Holy Ghost. For it is a promise unto you. Hallelujah. And I believe God going to start falling on folk everywhere. Hallelujah. Some of them ain't going to be in no church. And he's going to start falling on them because they meet the requirements. Hallelujah. To receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I thank God for it today. I, I, I don't know how I would have lived without it. You know, once you get it, you don't know how you could have managed. I don't know how in the world did we manage without the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. But I thank God that I got him now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm learning that he's more than joy. I thank him for my joy. Hallelujah. I thank him for all the things. I, he's more than my shout, but I don't take my shout. Hallelujah. He's more than all of those things. He can do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask or think by the power of the Holy Ghost that's working on the inside of us. I thank God. Be encouraged today, saints of God. Hallelujah. Let this be your year. Let this be your month. Let this be your week. Hallelujah. That that experience will fall on you. Time is filled with swift transition. No one on earth and move can stand. Oh, build your hopes on things eternal. Let us hold to God's unchanging hand. Oh, hold to his hand. God's unchanging. Oh, let us hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Find yourself under some concrete. 
look for the crack. Look for the crack in the concrete and find your way out. And despite all odds, choose to bloom anyway. God bless you, Bishop Rubin. Oh, hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Come on and praise him. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. What a joy, what a joy, what a joy. As I was listening to those that came before me, I heard such wonderful and important statements. Sister Tucker made a statement that here at Community Refuge, we believe in the power of prayer. Not just prayer, but the power of prayer. Prayer that changes lives, prayer that brings victory, prayer that does the impossible. Yes, we believe in the power. Everybody just say that word, power. Oh, you can praise him. Facebook folk, just write that word. Zoom folk, just write power. Power, 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 power. Well, I can start shouting now and start running around. And then Elder Williams picked up on the scripture and started talking about the Holy Ghost. You know, we're in that season between Resurrection Sunday and Pentecost Sunday, seven weeks. And I would suggest this to everybody, including myself, if you have never received the Holy Ghost, you just draw as close to God as you can over the next seven weeks and watch and see what God does for you. You don't have to kneel down and say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. You just start drawing nigh to the Lord and God is going to step in. What's that word power? And those of us that have already received it, we want a double portion. We want a double portion. We want to have that power. We want to have that authority. And you know, when you do all that, you're going to bloom. You're going to bloom where you've been planted. You know what? I got a message. I'm going to bring it to you, but I, I need a song. I need a song. I'm looking at our songsters. Come on, somebody give me a song. Don't look at each other. Just start singing. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, give us a song. Victory, 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 oh, victory. Son, Jesus Christ, as we stand here before you, before your sons and before your daughters, let your anointing, let the power and the presence of your spirit be upon us. Speak to our hearts and give us an ear to hear what the spirit have to say unto the church. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. 
I'm reading from Ephesians chapter number 6, verses 10, 11, and 12. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I'm going to use for thought today, who am I? wrestling against. One of the most important questions that must be answered is, who am I wrestling against? This vital question is answered here by Apostle Paul. We're wrestling not against flesh and blood, but a battle is a spiritual one, one with Satan himself directing the attack. If we understand what his assignment is, what his goal is, if we understand that he came to kill, to steal, and destroy, and he has never stopped, he has never stopped, he continued and no one point at somebody tell him he's talking about you no one is exempt from his attacks his cunningness was evident in the garden as he deceived Eve and Adam followed in sin his boldness was demonstrated as he challenged Jesus in the wilderness Jesus warned Peter that Satan sought to put his hands upon him, that he might sift him like wheat. Again and again and again, we see this demonic force. One of his strongest devices is taking our attention from him and placing it on people. Praise the Lord, have I asked you who you wrestling with? If you didn't have a spiritual awareness, you'd tell me about Mr. So-and-so or Mrs. So-and-so or Brother So-and-so or Sister So-and-so. And yes, it's a fact that the devil uses folks, but he's behind the plot. He's behind everything. Even when he doesn't use folks, he can just use the spirit. I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but when you make a declaration, I'm going to draw nigh to God. This spirit of doubt comes over you. The spirit of confusion comes over The spirit says it's not going to happen. Yes, he has the use. His various spirits. Praise the Lord throughout the Bible. We see countless examples of his power, of his authority. Satan even had the nerve to stop the angel from bringing an answer to Daniel. This king of Persia, demon, stopped it. You and I were in a wrestling match. And one of the agents that God uses is not brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so, it's self. But still, it's the devil. It's the devil. It's the devil. Why is it important for us to understand who we wrestled against? You have to know what weapons. You have to know how to deal. You have to know how to combat. If you don't know who you're wrestling with, you're going to choose the wrong weapon. You ever tell somebody off? You ever tell them off thinking you're going to gain the upper hand? The devil just using you. Praise the Lord. But when you understand what he's doing, and he continues to approach us in three ways. 
It's fascinating. Each case that we read about, three ways, the lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Look at your battles. Look at how Satan endeavors to tempt you. He's going to fall in one of these three, or a combination of these three categories. So if I know who I'm fighting, what must I do to win the battle? I'm not sure about you, but I like being victorious in everything I do. Praise the Lord. I enjoy beating Lady Reuben in Scrabble. Praise the Lord. Every once in a while, I let her win so she doesn't stop playing. I like being victorious. And surely when it comes to this demon, the one that wants to stop me from getting what God has for me, the one that wants to stop me from getting as close to God as God would have me to be as my I desire, I need to know what it takes. You know, if you look, at the verses that I read carefully, you're going to see some important phrases that perhaps we overlook. Bible tells us in these verses that we need to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. It tells us that we can't just depend upon self. I don't care how long you've been saved. I don't care how much you shout, how much you speak in other tongues. I don't care about any of that. Your victory is coming in the power of his might and his strength. Praise the Lord. Then Paul goes on and tells us to put on the whole arm. Oh, somebody ought to tell the Lord, thank you. When we examine this whole armor and we see righteousness, we see faith, we see the gospel of peace, we see all these aspects. When we see prayer, it's telling us that we need to be complete in God. Everything we do, everything we seek to accomplish must have us being complete in God. We can't take some parts off. Praise the Lord. You know, you take a day off, the devil going to get you because he doesn't take any time off. He comes again and again and again and again. And even when you have a victory, he's going to still come back. Praise the Lord. You dare compromise one time. You take one step back. Going to keep pushing until he finally gets you to yield to him. But when we put on this whole armor, and we stay close to God, you know we're victorious. Anybody in the house like victory? Anybody else on Facebook like victory? Anybody else on Zoom like victory? I've been speaking that word all this week, talking about victory, victory, victory. And that's what I want with my walk in God. And why should I want it? God has it offered to us. You don't have to compromise about anything. You don't have to think less of what God has for you. God has victory for you. And the early church understood that. That's right. We studied and we celebrated the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we're moving towards Pentecost. Early church understood the power of prayer. And they understood the one that was able to give them the victory. And so when they wrestled, against the chief priests, when they wrestled against the Roman authority, when they wrestled against all these forces that were trying to stop them. I'm talking about Jesus. It's amazing. Folks don't mind if they live a moral life, but they don't want to hear about Jesus. They don't mind if you live a clean life, but they don't want to hear about Jesus. As these apostles went out preaching Jesus, that the Bible tells us they turned the whole city upside down, talking about Jesus risen from the dead. They took these folks and they started accusing him, attacking them, and told him, you got to stop this thing. You got to stop this Jesus thing. You got to stop talking about the Holy Ghost is coming. You got to stop all this. And they threatened him. Told him, if you keep doing it, 
I'm going to lock you up and throw away the key. When they understood that they had to let them go because of the people, the apostles went back to those that believed like them. And they didn't see themselves fighting the chief priest. They didn't see themselves fighting the, the Pharisees or the scribes. They knew they were battling this demon force. They understood that their battle was not against flesh and blood. I don't care what your neighbor does to you. That's not who you're fighting. I don't care what your spouse does. Praise the Lord. Somebody ought to say, ouch. It's still this demon, this demon, this demon. That's controlling thoughts and ideas. And they called the prayer meeting. Understanding we're going to talk to God. And at that time the devil come at you, you need to talk to God. Anytime you feel like you can't make it, you got to talk to God. And they called the prayer meeting. They said, Lord, listen to what those demonic forces are saying through these men. Listen to what they're trying to do. They're trying to stop us from praising you. Trying to stop us from worshiping, from magnifying you. Trying to stop us from telling everybody, I found a savior. And he's sweet, I know. Trying to shut up our mouths. But Lord, I know you can take care of it. Somebody ought to testify right now. Lord, I know you can take care of my situation. I know you got victory. I know you have the power to send it. And I'm not standing in my own strength, but in the strength of Almighty God. Somebody give God a praise. And they started praying. And they started praying. And the Holy Ghost got hold of the praise. Got hold of the prayer. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. But when you start praying, you're typically in self. You're praying in the natural. But somewhere, somehow, the Holy Ghost starts praying. And the words that come out. And the power that comes with it. It's not your power. It's not your words. It's God Almighty. And as they started praying. And the spirit took over. The Lord wanted everybody. To know he's in control. And the Lord started listening. And he started shaking. What am I saying? He started shaking the building. Saying that we get a prayer too right now. I believe the Holy Ghost is going to start shaking this place by his power. Maybe I can get somebody to pray with me. Hallelujah. How and what can I pray? How about if we just say Jesus? Say Jesus. Everybody in the building. Just shout Jesus. Everybody watching. Just shout Jesus. Everybody listening. Just shout Jesus. And I believe God. I believe the Lord going to step into a situation and tell that demon that's been messing with you, back up, buddy. This is my son. This is my daughter. And I blessed her from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Saints were wrestling, but we got the victory. Saints were wrestling, but God gave it to us. And everybody know you got it. Let's praise him. Let's praise him. Let praise us. Let praise the God that gave us the victory. Come on and tell him hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, hallelujah. Now we're getting. We're in that season between resurrection and Pentecost. And I want you to look at yourself. Look at yourself in a spiritual mirror. Do I have the helmet on? 
Do I have the best feet on? Are my feet properly shod? Do I have the word ready to fight? Do I have faith? Am I equipped with the whole armor? If you find something missing, make up in your mind. Bring on the whole armor because I'm ready to wrestle. Satan, you better look out. I know how to pray. Satan, you better back up. I know how to praise God. Satan, look out. I got faith. I got the word. I got power. I got the anointing. And I'm claiming victory. Somebody claim victory with me. Somebody wave your hand and tell the Lord, I thank you. I praise you. I magnify you. When I wasn't strong enough, I waited on you. And you renewed my strength. Somebody stand up and look that devil. The one that been messing with you. Look that demon in the eye and tell him in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I said in the name of Jesus, I bind you, I cast you out and tell that demon to go back to the pit of hell where he belongs. Saints, you got the victory. Point to somebody and tell her, you got the victory. Then tap yourself. Get don't do it too hard. And say, I got the victory in the power. In the power of his might. In his strength. I got the victory. I claim healing. I claim deliverance. I claim salvation. I claim it. I claim it. I claim it. I claim it. In fact, reach up and pull a stronghold down. Oh, yeah. Come on and claim it. Put your hand up and pull down that stronghold. And give God the glory. Give him the praise. Let me read this verse. Let me read this verse one more time. Listen to what God's saying. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong in the Lord, in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor that you may be able to stand. Oh, I got to shout just a little bit. I got to praise him just a little bit. I feel victory. I feel the Lord saying, I've been watching you wrestle. But you've been doing it the wrong way. You've been trying to use your strength, your might. But the Lord saying, just back up and watch me do it. Back up and watch me deal with that demon. Just back up and watch me tell that demon. Don't you remember, Satan, when you thought you killed me? When you thought you buried me, when you thought you had me, I got up out of the grave, went to the pit of hell, and I told you, give me the keys. I didn't wrestle with you. I just told you, give me the keys of death and of hell. And I got up and I rose again. And I told my saints, I told my children, just go to Jerusalem and wait to be down with the power from on high. If the Holy Ghost in you, are you listening? If the Holy Ghost in you that gives you the victory, that lets you tell every demon of hell, you don't have the victory. God gave it to me. Come on, let's shout a while. 
I could keep on talking, but let's praise him just a little while. Let's give God the glory. Oh. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Go ahead and play it. Go ahead and play it. Go ahead and play it. Come on. The Lord is in our midst right now. He's walking around. He's walking around right now. And not just in this building, but Facebook folks, Zoom folks. Keep playing it, keep playing it. It sounds good. It's coming into your homes right now. It's saying, by my power, saith the Lord, by my strength, Get ready to shout to victory. Now this is what I want. As a song is being played and sung, it's prayer time in the house. It's prayer time on Facebook. It's prayer time on Zoom. And I want each and every one that understands that your victory is waiting on you. And the Lord spoke to us today, not by your might, not by your strength, I want you to come and release whatever the need might be into my hand. I want you to release your need of healing, your need of deliverance. Whatever it might be, I want you to release it. I'm looking at this aisle that's before where I'm standing. And that's where the saints come when we're having service pre-pandemic and they get anointed and we lay hands upon them and we pray I'm going to take this oil and I'm going to anoint my hands thank you lady and I'm going to envision you but I want to do it like this those of you on zoom and facebook that need healing. I'm seeing you come down this aisle. And followed by that, I'm seeing those that need deliverance from whatever situation. And following those, I'm seeing those that need a financial, emotional breakthrough. And then I'm seeing those that are crying out, Lord, I want this thing called the Holy Ghost. I want the power want the anointing. And as a song is being sung, I'm going to envision myself praying for each of those groups. And I want you going back virtually shouting the victory. Come on, give us the song. I feel the fire and it's burning in my soul. Yeah. 
make a special sacrifice today. I'm looking for a bigger building I'm seeing. Let me keep looking. Keep singing just another I song. I feel the fire. Yeah. And it's burning. Only God can do it. 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 I feel the It's already looking better. 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 To make a sacrifice, I found Twenty-one dollars in my wallet. Lady Rubin came, and with my help, she got twenty-one. Her twenty in my one. But if you can make a sacrifice, those in the house, those on Facebook, those on Zoom, whatever the amount might be, I just did what the Lord led on my heart to do. But I want you to truly, between now. And Pentecost make up in your mind I'm either going to initially receive the gift of the Holy Spirit or if I have it there's going to be a double anointing and it's going to come because I'm putting on the whole armor of God For those of you that are watching on Zoom and Facebook you may also give and of course You've been such a wonderful support. There's four ways that you can give. Praise the Lord, our cash app. Dollar sign, see our church. Go online to communityrefugechurch.org and there's a place there to give. We have a mail, well, we have a post office box, PO Box 725 here in Manalapin. And some of you stop by during the week at the church each day and you call and let me know you're here I put on my mask and I go outside and I say that because I pray that you're taking good care of yourself many of, all of us here have already been double vaccinated or single vaccinated and uh, we're pushing it everybody got to make up their own mind but I'm doing some praying and some pushing praise the Lord and everyone wearing a mask and taking proper care of oneself. Lady Boomin, come on. You're, you're, you're so pretty. You, you need to be seen as well. We're going to have our benediction now after Lady Boomin has something to say to us. But we're going off with a song and a shout because we know who we're wrestling against, but we're putting on the whole armor, and God has given us a victory. Just before I give to Lady Brown, I want to thank this team. Praise the Lord. They did fantastic. 
outside last week, and now they're back inside doing fantastic. And I don't think we have to worry about the temperature any longer, just this thing called rain. And so we're in the hands of the Lord. When he sends the rain, we're in here. And when he holds back the rain, we're out there so everybody that's local can be with us. All I got to say is already looking better. God bless you. Father, in the name of your son, we ask your blessings continuously upon these, your sons and daughters. Bless us as we go forward in victory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Come on, victory, sing it. Victory, 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 victory is mine. Everybody say victory. It's already looking better. It's already looking better. It's already looking better. It's already looking better. It's already. 